The first thing we'd like to talk about is what, and what we're all thinking about, is what is the next big trend um, that we're about to face? Hamish just touched on it. Um, I'll kick off with you, Daniel. What, what do you think? You, you invest in software, so it's very much tech-based investment at Airtree. What do you think is the next big trend that's going to shape the way we live our lives and the way business operates around the world? The, um, the most transformative thing going on is the impact of artificial intelligence and machine learning, um, which is a combination of uh, neural algorithms or sort of learning algorithms um, built on neuroscience and contextual data sets. And that combination, and we'll call it machine learning or AI as a, as a sort of a naming convention, will dramatically change every job, every company, every industry, every society, and dramatically change. We're seeing the early stages of that, and we're talking about everything from health to education to retail to media. Um, if you are a company and you do not have access to sufficient data sets um, and then appropriate algorithms, you're screwed. And because your, your competitors will just run away from you, they have lower cost of customer acquisition, they have better data on what customers are doing with their products and want to do in the future, have lower cost of customer service. In health, you'll have quicker, um, quicker uh, diagnosis, better therapy allocation. So it's just in every area. And so you can't pick um, a particular uh, company, you'd have to say who are the likely winners going forward. Clearly, it's instructive to see that both, that over the last year and a half, uh, Google and Microsoft, and to a certain extent Facebook, have started calling themselves artificial intelligence companies, not software companies. And that's not for, for any sort of PR, that's because they worked out their future is as a, as a platforms um, to, to change business and society.